these are actually tests on in-game uh, effects uh, that you can trigger yourself. I think animations are really important for a game these days because all the older aspects of the game or the visual aspects are so detailed now. You know, the cheetah molds are very detailed and the textures and lighting actually look so alive that you will notice really easily if the animations aren't uh, realistic. When it comes to human motion, this is something that everyone is an expert of. So because of this, we can't take too many shortcuts like we could have done if we were dealing with orcs and dwarves in a more cartoony setting. And this sets very strict demands to the quality of, of uh, the motion in the game. Motion capture gives a great sense of, of, of that realism and can also be tweaked just a little bit to bring out the essence of the moves being done by uh, professional uh, martial artists that we hire in. When every little and big asset is made, then it's the world builders that in the end play gods and uh, pull up the earth, they stomp on the mountains and put everything together. World building is it's a kind of hub for much of the content that enters the game. The elements that I work on have been touched by many of the other people in the project. So I'm putting together work done by other graphic artists and, and devised by gameplay designers and the like. And so it all comes together. Our team of world builders spend literally months handcrafting each level. And that handcrafting involves placing out every individual rock and, and tree and detailing every corner, every little nook and cranny of the, of the location. Nothing is it's actually uh, auto-generated. Every little corner of, uh, of Haiborga is a unique painting in 3D. Howard's universe is really interesting because it's, it refers to very classical landscapes, um, you know, Egypt and, and that kind of thing, but it takes them to extremes. So tall mountains are never merely tall, they're frighteningly tall. One of the challenges in building a playfield is that uh, you're a solo consciousness while you're building, but you have to be aware that there might be large groups of players running through this area, as, as well as mobs and NPCs and, and all the rest. So uh, sometimes it's tempting to fill all the spaces, but you have to leave some open real estate where, where battles can happen. I think the thing that sets Conan apart from, from other games is the level of graphical proficiency it hasn't really been equaled in other MMOs and the kind of directness of the gameplay, of the combat. Uh, it, it's, it's really bringing other kinds of gaming experiences into the MMO arena. We expect players will be absolutely surprised with the, the amount of detail that they find in, in, in our game. Now that we can see it up and running actually through the game, uh, walking around in our own universe, truly rewarding.